Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading for July 9th to July 15, 2018 <clears throat> and um, for those who doesn't know guys um, <clears throat> there are extended tarot readings for in addition to the general monthly tarot readings which are up at the channel now and you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading for just as little as one dollar and in it we are uh, specifically focusing on the career and relationship for the star sign so it's a great way to obtain knowledge and to support the channel furthermore uh, these readings can be found on my, can be found at my website under the section of extended monthly monthly tarot readings. So that being said, uh, let's see what the topic is for Aquarius. Now we do have the uh, full card, then the next one is going to be the core of the situation. That will be the, the Knight of Cups, so it does look like that you will have a new beginning with somebody. Then is uh, the challenges that you need to overcome. That will be the Four of Wands and the last card shows up the guidance here. So that speaks for a new beginning and in the same time, guys, conflict of interest. So you need to be uh, very aware of what your heart desires during that particular week. And I'm talking about because this reading mostly take place for a relationship life. And you will be most likely approached by someone and that is very... Um, I cannot say dangerous, but very confronting when it uh, confronting when it comes to existing relationship because this is not your boyfriend or a girlfriend. All right, that is a, a third party which comes for you. They want you, and they kind of like. Um, they find you as a very enthralling and in the same time someone that uh, you know that it is the dream of their hearts, hearts in general but also it's very important to be quite objective when it comes to this person because sometimes they overestimate the environment they overestimate the potential in general and uh, usually when it comes to the Knight of Cups uh, you can hear a, a very exaggerated statements of theirs you can you can hear a fairy tales however how everything is going to be perfect, how everything is going to be uh, outstanding, you know, and there will be no issues whatsoever, etc, etc. But that unfortunately isn't true and that is very well displayed here with the full card. So, instead of you involving yourself straight away with that guy or a girl, it will be best first, you know, to uh, first examine them. And that based by the full could happen by uh, just hanging out you know, uh, just uh, having a, a carefree behavior with them, no obligations, nor uh, any terms given whatsoever in between one another. Just, just try to experience the world with them as a, um, as a, a child, if I may say it that way. It's very difficult to, um, <clears throat> to, uh, to explain it and to express it, but the point is, is that you should not have any biased feelings, emotions, nor expectations from that guy or a girl. And that is further supported by the challenge here, which is the Four of Wands, and as a challenge that card could stand as a, a false foundation, you know, it could stand for a, a overlooked important matter. For example, that person could have a severe troubles elsewhere that further will interfere the relationship and will influence the relationship that you may have with them. All right, so you need to be very um, vigilant for those kind of stuff. Uh, in general, you should not involve yourself if you don't know that person from start to the begin uh, from the beginning to the end all right the four of wands also as a, a challenge does expresses up the um, the incapability to close the deal all right so even though um things could go out very well in between you and that guy or a girl especially if you are single that speaks for a, a tremendous experience that you will have with them but still something will will seem odd still some something will seem very awkward here all right and that's why during this week rather you need to use the time to get the person to know them better instead of just you know 
consuming what could be a seemingly awesome relationship and further realizing that actually it's uh, it's it's a relationship that uh, there is it's uh, it's issues that you and that person are quite unprepared to face so uh, what the point is here guys is that it will not happen overnight it, it will require its toils all right it will require dating it will require uh, for example chatting calling etc to one another etc etc you cannot force it that's the point here but in the same time you need to be open for it in case you know you're feeling either um, uh, miserable in your current relationship or you're feeling lonely and that is well expressed here with the ten of with the ten of cups excuse me in conjunction to the full card the ten of cups points that you need to require more from life when it comes to uh, emotional fulfillment and if you are not emotionally fulfilled right now from your personal uh, relationship status then you need to take on that particular uh, that particular opportunity but in the same time you should not rush it all right taking on it and rushing it is two these are two different ways but if you are feeling uh, emotionally fulfilled then you need to give a um, an understanding to those which are emotionally fulfilling you that they need to actually kind of lift the bar a little bit higher because at certain point isn't going to be enough any longer and there are people out there in this world that are ready to give you more so with that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 9th to July 15th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.